Today, I'm going to teach you four crucial steps on how to edit reels properly on Omi TV. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so step one, I'm going to show y'all is how to avoid getting banned. Some of y'all are having an issue where y'all getting banned for 300 plus hours. So first show how to avoid it because I know some of y'all like to skip the videos be like oh my god this didn't work watch the video if you go in the description you're gonna see links each link i will title them so y'all don't get it mixed or confused but the first link it would be how to avoid getting banned and it will send you to this google drive once you complete all the steps and stuff once they send you to this google drive you just want to download each one of these individually once you download those you want to extract them create a folder just drag them on your desktop whatever makes it easier for you and all you want to do is you want to click on these and you want to press run all these files do is it just changed the name of your virtual webcam because your name to omi tv is going to say obs virtual webcam and that's how they confirm if you're using a virtual webcam or not it's a weird process and that is how you avoid getting banned now let's go to step two but step two, I'm going to teach y'all how to set up OBS for edit reels. This isn't a step on connecting it. This is strictly setting it up because a lot of y'all still get confused because y'all like to skip through the video. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Click on OBS. I'm going to show y'all how to set it up. As you can see, it says scenes, sources. If you don't see scenes or sources, all you want to do is press docs. Just make sure scenes and sources are checked and are on your screen. What you want to do is you want to click on this plus at the bottom i'm gonna click on the plus name it main camera whatever you want press ok once you do that it's going to pop up right here on scenes and to make the edit real scene you want to press plus er1 or er2 and press ok once you do that you're going to have two scenes that you can click on you're going to have your main camera you're going to have er1 or whatever you named it what you want to do on your main camera you want to press plus video capture device okay and you want to press whatever webcam you're currently using some webcams you have may be 4k but the default is 1920 by 1080p all you want to do is scroll down where it say resolution dash fps type change it from default to custom go to resolution and put it as 4k or whatever re resolution you desire once you got your main camera set up once you got your main camera set up you want to click on er1 I know y'all don't have the edit reels set up yet. I'm just finna simply teach y'all. Once y'all have your edit reels made, all you want to do is go to your files, locate where you saved it. Mine's is saved in Riz, and you just want to drag it down and it will automatically place for you like that. Now I'm finna teach y'all how to press a button to switch in between your webcam and your edit reels. First thing you want to do is you want to click on settings at the bottom right of your corner once you click on settings it's going to pop up pop this up you want to go down to hotkeys this is where you're going to change it and add a key bond for each source or each scene you want to scroll down until you see main camera or er1 it's going to be in bold right here once you find it mine's this main camera and it's going to say switch scene it's the very first one i got mine set as f12 but you can easily set it up to anything you want so now i'm gonna go and find er1 now that I found ER1, I have my says equal sign. You can put it as whatever you want as well. So if I press 2 on my numpad, it's going to say num2. But I'm going to put it back on equal. Once you do that, you want to press apply and OK. So since it's already on my main camera, I'm going to press my equal sign and it's going to go to the edit reads. So as y'all can see, the edit reads is playing. I know y'all can't hear any audio. It's because we're still going to set up how to do the audio after I teach y'all what to do for the edit reads. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F12. And once I press F12, it's going to go back to my main camera. So F12, main camera. So now that we got that done, now I'm going to teach y'all how to edit reads. To save time for y'all so y'all don't have to watch this one video, I won't exactly go in depth on how to exactly edit it since I already have a video out going in depth of edit raising when I went into CapCut and I went into DaVinci Resolve. But those are the two apps you want to use to edit raise. But if y'all want to see an in depth tutorial on it, make sure to watch the video that's at the card right here. Okay, yeah, it's going to pop up up here. 
make sure to watch that video i will also link the video down below as well now that y'all got y'all edit this video made i'm going to teach y'all how to convert the video into audio most of y'all don't know how to convert it into audio on davinci resolve it's pretty simple but i'm gonna teach y'all how to do that through chrome what you want to do is you want to go link down below it's going to be a website called cloud convert and what you want to do is once you're on this website you want to press select file and you want to go to wherever you have your edit risk video saved so i'm going to click on nerd risk and convert now we just need to wait for this to finish downloading okay now that it's finished downloading all you want to do is press download and as you can see it already downloaded now i'm going to teach you how to set up the audio inside of voice mod if you don't have it downloaded it will be linked down below as well by the way i'm not sponsored on this video at all once voice mod is open first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings you want to make sure you have the right mic connected and the right headphones connected for some reason mods is said that my my controller is my headphones i'm just gonna put this as my regular headset so once you got this set up you want to go to the top left and it's going to say voice box and it's going to have this box with a lightning symbol on it you just want to click on it because it is soundboard and once you click on it you're going to have five slots for different audio As you can see i already got two of them set up all you want to do is that you want to open up your file you want to drag down the audio and once you drag it down it's going to pop up right here want to press add keybind and i'm going to put this as equal plus equal plus it's the same thing on my keyboard so once you do that if i press if i go up here where it say keybinds i must press keybinds now that that's on if i as soon as i press equal or plus it's going to play the music as you can see it plays the audio and so what you want to do next is this is the step where you want to drag your edit res video that you made into obs so i already have it dragged down from how i showed y'all earlier so if i press f12 and if as soon as i press equal sign y'all will hear the edit res and see it at the same time so i'm gonna press it three two one as y'all can see it played perfectly fine no issues now for the last step i'm gonna teach y'all how to connect obs to omi tv so now that we're here you just want to click on start virtual webcam you want to click on your video capture device you want to press deactivate once you press deactivate what you want to do is that you want to look up device manager and last thing you want to do is you want to go to cameras right click on the webcam that you're using and disable it press yes when y'all first do it it will ask y'all to restart y'all pc so before before i completely restart my pc i'm gonna press no i'm gonna go to chrome i'm going to go to omi tv mind you this step you only need to do it once as you can see it say you have denied access to your device your parties will not be able to see and hear you so what i'm going to do is that the first thing i'm gonna do is make sure that it's recognized voice mod sometimes it might change sometimes it's, it won't change make sure every time y'all go on omi tv y'all change this from your regular microphone to any other microphone to voice mod it doesn't matter which voice mod because both of them work but the next step y'all want to do is y'all want to click on this three dots right here y'all want to go to settings once y'all go to settings y'all want to look up cam then y'all going to see site settings click on site settings you're going to click on camera once you clicked on camera click the three dots and click on hd camera c922x i'm pretty sure y'all is going to have a different name so just click on the one that's not your main webcam or not a virtual webcam so what you want to do is you want to click on this go to camera Click on microphone and make sure that it's a voice mod virtual audio device. Every time you load up Omi TV, it will automatically recognize these two as your main devices. But now that we did that step, we're going to restart our PC now. Okay, so now that we have OBS back up, you want to just reactivate your webcam. What you want to do is, is that you want to go into Chrome, want to go back onto Omi TV. As you can see, now it popped up the no video OBS screen. So which means that if I go to OBS now and I press start virtual webcam, this will be on my OBS screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it away. Boom, as y'all can see, my virtual webcam is working. So all I need to do now is I need to go back onto device manager. Once I'm on device manager, I want to go to webcam right here, right click on it. 
enable boom it's enabled all i need to do now is go to my webcam press deactivate and activate now y'all can see me so if i press equal it is if i press f12 boom now y'all can see me now i'm back on omi tv do not forget change this from hyperx quadcast or whatever mic you're using to voice mod oh this is actually a great time to explain because i made a mistake i loaded i loaded up voice mod after i loaded up omi tv so what I have to do is that I have to refresh. Once I refresh, it's gonna say access denied again. And this is when you just do the same step. You wanna go on OBS, you wanna deactivate your webcam. You wanna go on device manager. Once you're on device manager, go ahead and right click on your webcam again, disable. As you can see, it's not asking me to restart my PC again because I already done it once. What I need to do now is I need to refresh OMI TV. Now it's working. Now I go back to device manager, enable it again. It's in enable now so i can close this go on to obs i gotta click on activate right here and once i activate y'all gonna see on the corner of my screen my webcam pop up as well so activate boom as you can see it popped up on at the same time so now that i open up voice mod at the same time all i need to do is nothing it pops up automatically for you but you know for some people you might have the issue where it don't pop up just click on this and click on voice mod and it'll pop up so that means if i press if i press my equal sign it would do it so y'all can see it worked perfectly fine if i help you out like and subscribe peace see that video right there watch it you'll like it <laughs>